Cambridge Deputy Head Teacher at Saltash.net Community School in Cornwall in the United Kingdom. And I'm here today to tell you all about Windows Live Writer 2011. This is a new fantastic free tool from Microsoft which makes it really easy for teachers or your students to create and update their own blogs and also publish them to their existing blog service platforms. It is free to download and you can download it from here as part of the Windows Live Essentials package. Okay, so let's just show you how easy this is. So once you've opened it up here, you can then create and uh, link it to your blogs. So here's one blog that I've got, it's called Why Did the Chicken Cross the Road? Now I've already synced this and set this up, but to basically create uh, or add a blog account, you just go here to add blog account, uh, create either that you're going to create a new blog or whether it's WordPress or Live Spaces or other services like Blogger, Typepad and so on. Uh, mine is uh, other service, so I click that, then I go next, and then you actually just type in the web address of your blog, your username and password which you use to actually access your blog and update your blog posts, um, and so on. Just follow the very basic steps. It then automatically syncs your uh, blog post with Live Writer. So as you can see, mine's already set up there. I can just have a look at it. Um, and then also in the accounts options, you can then look at some of these other things that you could change and things like that. But basically, it's very, very straightforward. So basically, once we want to uh, update a blog post, how do we do that? So we enter a title here. I'm going to call this how to use Windows Live Writer to create a blog post. That is my title. I'm then going to write some text in. So um, I am currently recording and making a in the vid, which you are all watching now, um, on how to create a new blog post using the new free tool Windows Live Writer. So I've written some text now for my blog, I'm happy with it. Um, you know, I, I can use all the, the the things. I can change the fonts, just like you can do in Word and other things. I can, you know, reposition the paragraphs. I could insert and hyperlink if I want. So I might do that. Actually, I will think I will insert uh, the hyperlink of where you can download. You can download Windows Live Writer here. So then, I'm going to insert the web address. Just copy and paste it in. And then I might want to hyperlink that. Uh, open the link in a new window. Uh, okay, so that will make my hyperlink live when it posts in. I can do lots of other things. Like I could check the word count. I could do basically most of the things that you can do in Word. So then I might also say, right, well, I want to insert a photo or a video. So to insert a photo, because I'm actually currently recording this at. Um, Microsoft in Reading. I'm going to just upload a photo of the building I'm in. There we go. So I'm just browsing and attaching my photo as normal. Now this is where I am sat recording my Innovid. Okay, now I'm happy with that blog post. Awesome. Okay, so once I've finished, uh, I might then want to save this to come back to it later. So just do the normal save options, or I might want to actually post this draft to my blog. Uh, so it doesn't actually publish it, but it just uh, make it available on my uh, on the, as a draft on my blog um, for me to maybe to go on and uh, edit later if I wanted to, um, or using LiveWrite to do that. So I might select that option, and it automatically does that. So as you can see, it's publishing my draft to the actual blog post. Or if you're happy with it and you don't want to obviously create a draft, then you may just want to publish it direct. So you literally go to the options there, and there's an option to publish. And I uh, select that, and as you can see, it's now trying to publish the post to my thing, my blog. It's then also automatically taking me to my blog. And as you can see here, in true Blue Peter style, here's one I made earlier. 
but it wasn't, I've just literally made it now. Um, but you can see the blog post I've just written using Windows Live Writer and it's automatically then been added to my blog. Brilliant stuff. So as you can see it's so easy to use and it's a really effective tool for students and for teachers to reflect on their own learning. So please guys, start blogging. Happy blogging people!